As the leaves begin to paint the world in warm hues and a crisp breeze fills the air, it could only mean one thing, autumn has arrived. So grab your coziest blanket and a warm mug of your favorite beverage while we dive into this brand new Minecraft world that is certainly cozy and maybe a little bit spooky. But first things first. Well, it's certainly humble beginnings, but I would say we've got a pretty good little start going now. So we've got our wheat growing, we've got our chickens, and we've got our sheep as well. Everybody is looking good. Oh, look at you. I did dye them already as well. So I have some plans for our first home and it involves some fun colors. So I figured we might as well start right away with these sheep. I think it's gonna be super fun. So now that we have everything good and set up, I think it is time to do a little bit of mining, get our supplies good and you know solid enough to make our first house. And I know exactly where we can start that. Now, this isn't a very big cave, but honestly, I think that's kind of a good thing. I don't actually want a big open cave. I would like to just go down and do a little bit of strip mining to try to find some iron and collect lots of stone and all of that. But I do think this is a nice natural terrain that'll give us a good facade for building a cute little mine entrance at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to dig around in here. Well, I would say we did pretty darn good there. Now, while those are smelting, let's clean up this area a little bit more. Well, it's looking like a beautiful day for an adventure. Last thing that we need to do before we can really start building the house is find a couple more wood types. So I'm gonna go on a little bit of a journey now. Oh, and look at that, it looks like we have a jungle not too far away. Don't really need that right now, but definitely might come in handy. Oh yes, this looks exactly like what we're looking for. That was terrifying. <laughs> Maybe we'll take land for a little while. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Aha, here's the other one we're missing. All right, we made it back to the base just in time for night. Not quite done yet, but we ran out of inventory space, so I figured we'd run back before we go to find the last biome that we are going to need. Or, well, need is a strong word. <laughs> the last biome that I want to collect some stuff from uh, before we build this house.
hey, look at that. We tumble upon a village. Wow, this place actually looks pretty big. Well, we might just have to come back here one day. Oh, look at this place. This must come from one of the mods that I put in. I'm not even 100% sure which one. But it looks like they've got uh, corn growing here. Can I replant it? Oh, we can. Corn kernels? Oh, that's so cool. I also love this scarecrow design. Maybe we're going to have to remember it and put it in uh, our own garden. What else do we have in here? Oh! Is that like a skeleton horse? <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Okay, very Halloween-y. I love this. We've got a cauldron. All right, anything up here? Oh, an empty chest. <laughs> I wonder if there was supposed to be some loot in here and it just didn't spawn for me or what, but that is pretty cool. Might have to come back for you one day. Just need either a lead or a saddle. Well, this looks like a very buried old pirate ship. Let's see if we can find anything in here. And there's our first treasure. And the second treasure. Is our last one. Now why don't we see if we can also find this buried treasure. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen one out in the middle of the ocean before. Well, we'll give it a shot anyway. I don't know if we'll be able to find this one. Oh, look at that. We got lucky. Look at that, we're already starting to get a little bit richer. Alright, I see our final target. And two very last things that I want to get wrapped up before we start building is getting some cows penned up. I'll just put them right beside the sheep there and getting our sugar cane planted. Of course, we can't forget to set ourselves up a little tree farm. Alright, so I think we are about ready to start building our cozy little cottage. It's not going to be anything too big, so we don't need too much space for it. But I am thinking that I want it somewhere over in this area here where the bamboo is. I like this backdrop. I think the hills look really nice in the back. And I like the idea of having our like farming and barns and such kind of behind the house. I think it makes more sense. You've got the house and then you have kind of all of your fun backyard stuff afterwards. So I think it's going to be facing in this direction. Um, so when we're looking at it from this way, we'll be looking at the front of the house. And yeah, I think it's going to be a super fun, cute little build. So I'm going to go ahead first and do a little bit of terraforming. I got to flatten this place out a little bit. doesn't look like it's going to be too hard to do. Um, we'll obviously have to get rid of the bamboo. And then I think this stuff in the back here, we just won't worry about it right now we won't build the house any further back than this so I think it's gonna be perfect all right we have a nice clean space now to work with I did a little bit of clearing out back here too we're not really gonna do too much building back here today but 
Um, I just, you know, wanted to make sure everything was nice and clean. And obviously we got rid of a lot of trees. So we're going to be planting some more back in and like re-landscaping and stuff. So don't worry about that. <laughs> we're not just clearing the forest, but I wanted a good like view to be able to build everything on. So this here is the outline for our little cottage. So you can see it is going to be quite small, but I've kind of already planned it out, uh, not really in creative mode, but like on paper. And I think everything that I want is gonna fit in here. Um, I'm pretty sure that I got everything right. So I think it's gonna be super fun. And it's gonna be just kind of a cute little cottage. We're gonna have two floors on half of it, uh, bedroom upstairs. And really we're gonna just kind of make this a little bit witchy. It's gonna be, you know, we're gonna focus on having our enchanting in here, maybe a little potion making station. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll be adding in a cauldron <laughs> in our little cooking area and all of that fun stuff. We don't really need this house for too much. So I figured we'd just make it small and nice and cozy inside. So yeah, that is basically what that's gonna look like. And I guess that's actually technically from the back. This is going to be the front entrance from this way here. So yeah, let's just dive right into the build. And just like that, our exterior is all finished up. I think it looks so good. I've never really built anything like this before, but I think it turned out quite well. So this here is what you would, I guess, consider the front of the house. Um, we're gonna probably be going in and out both ways quite a bit, but this would be the front. Um, we've got this cute little pathway. We're gonna, I'm definitely gonna extend this out. I'm gonna for sure bring it over to our mining cave. That's what this is right here, where we had gone uh, mining earlier. 
And then I don't know where else. I mean, maybe we'll kind of finish a road going that way or something like that. Or maybe we'll just build it to the other builds that we do. But for now, I just figured we'd put a little bit of a path in here through the front yard. We've got this cute little pond over here where I put in those couple of koi fish. I think they look really good. I'll have to uh, look around for some other cute fish and like maybe if we ever find some axolotls and stuff like that, uh, we can add to this pond. Maybe a little bit of coral would be cute in here too. And more lily pads. I didn't realize I only grabbed two from the swamp. We'll need to uh, grab some more of those too, but that can always be a work in progress. Um, just a bunch of leaves and foliage and such around here. And then we can just kind of continue around the other way. We've got our little sunflower area over here because this is the way they face. <laughs> so I figured it would be cutest if they were facing away from the house like that. I think it looks, I mean, it's fine. It's just a side view. And then the back over here. So this is going to lead into our backyard. I am going to, we'll probably do have to do a whole episode on this because it's going to be a lot of work to do the barns and the gardens and everything. Uh, but this garden will definitely be moved back a bit or like maybe we'll do a mini one here and then a bigger farm somewhere else or something like that. I'm not 100% sure yet what that's going to look like, but this isn't going to be here as it is right now. I kind of had to work around it a little bit, but yeah, that is what that looks like. A little bit different, but honestly, a lot of the same sort of motifs as the front. Oops. And then just around the other side here, we have that chimney for our fireplace. And I don't know for sure if it's going to make sense to do any windows here. I was actually thinking about maybe doing vines, but I know it's kind of hard to do vines because they just grow like crazy. I've heard that people use strings to stop them from growing, but I do think you can kind of see the strings <laughs> when you put them in there. So I'm not really sure what the best bet is going to be for this wall. Maybe once we start to do the inside, we'll figure like a window will be perfect here or something and we can just decorate that up. But for now, we'll leave it. We don't really need anything too spectacular on this wall. I mean, maybe we could even just leaf it up, um, make it look kind of like some kind of leaf growing bush vine thing. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but yeah, that is the whole exterior of the house. So obviously the next thing we're going to need to do is the interior. We've got a lot of touches to do. I don't know for sure if I want to keep the roof colors in here. It's going to be a little tricky to cover up, but not impossible. You could, I could even do like spruce trap doors or something like that. Uh, we'll obviously need to fill in some of these walls to clean it up, but that's all kind of very boring work if you ask me. <laughs> And then we'll need to get into decorating. So I'll obviously show you the whole decorating process, but this here is going to be a cute little fireplace. Over here is going to be our little kitchen. And then over here, we're going to do the big bookshelf uh, area with our enchanting table and then maybe a little desk on this side. I think that's going to be super cute. And then I'm thinking about doing a loft. So I think this is going to be totally maybe walled off. I'm not 100% sure yet what's going to look the best once we get up there, but I think I'm going to do kind of like a pillar, like a support pillar in here. And then I don't remember one, two or three in, we'll see what gives us the most room. And then we're going to do a loft right up there where the bedroom is going to be. And that's basically it for our whole little cottage. We'll add in like a few cute little like barrels and stuff for storage. And we'll maybe need to do, although our entryway here, we have this fireplace, so that adds quite a bit to it. Maybe we'll do like a little wall here and do some shelving for the entryway and that kind of thing. I think it's going to be super cute. So yeah, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about right now is that we don't really have all of the supplies that we need for all the decorations that I want in there, like the bookshelves. Um, I, we don't really have leather going yet. I'm slowly growing our cows, but we're, you know, we're still not like overpopulated with leather. It takes a lot of leather to make all those bookshelves. Uh, maybe by the end of this, we'll go and get our enchanting table and like go mine for a few diamonds so that we can get the pickaxe and get the obsidian to do the enchanting table. And the brewery stand, I'm not 100% sure. We might actually have to go on an adventure to like hope for a another village that maybe has one. Um, so yeah, we might do all of that at the end, but for now, I'm just going to do the basic kind of furnishing on the inside. Maybe we'll just make empty bookshelves or something like that for now. And we can, you know, fill them up later as we come along. So yeah, let's just jump right into that.
and the cottage is officially completed. So let's just go ahead and take a little close up tour right in through the front door. Here we have our little fireplace to the left. I think it just kind of adds a little bit of coziness. It's not really in the best position or anything, but I just figured we needed a little something in here. But right as you walk in, I have the ability to just run right up and go to bed, which is kind of what I wanted. It's a little bit weird, like being placed right there, but I like that I can just run in and sleep when I am desperately trying to get back and before dark. And yeah, this is the bedroom. We've got these cute little plants that I added the vines to to make them look like hanging plants. I'm going to be constantly having to get rid of the creeping vines, but it is what it is. Just a couple of potted plants, and then here we have sort of like a closet uh, with a bit of storage. And you can kind of look down here, I did sort of decorate up this wall a little bit as well, just so that it looks a little bit better from this angle. And we'll see how many times I end up falling down this ladder, <laughs> because I, I do not, I'm not good at using ladders in this game. <laughs> but anyway, we continue in, and here is the kitchen, just kind of a cute little area. We've got our little cauldron here just to make it look a little bit more witchy. I should have, I wonder if one of the texture packs uh, has something that makes this look more like an actual cauldron. I'm not sure. It doesn't really seem like any of the ones I have put in, but maybe I'll try to find one. But we've got a couple of photos here. I like the uh, stacked single photos rather than those long ones. The long ones, there's only two designs, I think, for one that's this size, and I don't really like either of them. So I think this looks a little bit better. And we've got our smokers and some storage for food and all of that fun stuff. And then as we continue over here, we've got a little brewing stand sort of attached to the kitchen a little bit on its own. We don't really have like a place. Normally I would do like a little place to our nether wart and all of that. But honestly, in this series, I'm not even 100% sure that we're going to get to that point. Um, but if we do, I could always like cut out this one um, and put a little planter here to just have a little bit of nether wart growing or this one or whatever, really. Um, but we do have some storage up here if we do end up getting some brewing materials. And then here is the view of the rest of it. So most of this is obviously taken out by our enchanting situation. I don't even, yeah, we don't quite have 30 levels yet, but I do want to be enchanting our tools right off the bat, even before we have diamond tools, because I'm really tired of using <laughs> non-efficient tools. So I'm glad that we have that set up and kind of ready to go. But we have a little lectern here, mostly just for show. I don't even have a book and quill to put on there, but maybe we can get one. If we can find any squids for ink, I have not seen any non-glow squids yet in this game, but that's all right. And yeah, it just kind of looks like a cute little library. And of course we have our cat. I was looking for a black cat. I didn't find one, but I think this guy is just cute enough. It doesn't really matter that much. So if you have any name suggestions, let me know in case we ever do find a name tag. <laughs> I haven't found one yet, but we might find one. But yeah, that is our little starter base cottage situation. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any suggestions or anything like that in the comments. The only other thing I was thinking that we might end up adding is a basement for storage. I was thinking it would just be a ladder um, down, maybe like an entry here or even right by the door here or something like that. But we'll see if we actually need the extra space once we have storage in like a barn for the crop stuff and all of that. I don't know if we'll really need extra storage space, but we'll see. Uh, we of course end up collecting so much stuff, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any suggestions or questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of it, if you enjoyed the build, if you enjoyed the video. It's a very different style of video to what I've edited before. So yeah, I appreciate all of your insight and your comments and yeah, just let me know and I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you.